Hi friends, thanks for tuning in. So, you have a list of email addresses, either in Excel or a table in Word, and you need to send emails to all these people using Outlook, which of course requires the list of emails to be separated by semicolons. You definitely don't want to copy each email address over and then type in the semicolon between them. So in this video, I'll show you how to easily transform those emails from Excel or Word in just a few easy steps so you can send them out in Outlook. Now, it doesn't really matter if you're starting from Excel or Word. Eventually, we do need to get things into Word. But let's just say that you are starting from Excel. I'll just wipe this table out here. All you need to do in Excel is just grab all of your email addresses. I'm going to do a Control C, and then over here in Word, do a Control V to paste all of those. So they come in as a table. Or if you're already starting from Word in a table, then that's perfect. You'll just save yourself a step. All right, let me maximize Word so we can see it a little bit better. Now here, select your table by clicking on the arrows here. That'll select the entire table. And then you want to come up here to Layout. And over here on the far right, Convert to Text. So it's basically saying take this table and convert it to regular text. Get rid of all the lines, the rows, the columns, and all of that. This one, we want to separate the paragraph marks. Click OK. And now we just have regular text. Now the next thing we need to do is to get all of these onto the same line with a semicolon between them. Basically, we need to replace this paragraph marker with a semicolon. And if you don't see these paragraph markers here, just come up to your Home tab and click on this button right here. Really important that you can see those. So to replace those, Hit Control H. That'll bring up your Find and Replace dialog. And if you come into More and then Special, and up at the top select Paragraph Mark, you'll see it's a caret symbol and a P. You could just type in caret P as well if you knew that. And then we want to replace that with a semicolon and a space. And then hit Replace All. Okay, close out of this, and there is your list of email addresses separated by semicolons. Now you can just select those, do a control C to copy, and then over in Outlook, drop them in your two line or your CC or BCC, whatever you're doing, paste them in, and hit send. And that's it. Super easy to transform your email addresses from a table into something that Outlook can work with. If you found this helpful, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button and also think about subscribing. Thanks so much for watching.